Hi, welcome to the drawing studio. You've made a great choice for today in order to work with color on purpose to make some decisions about your drawing and the colors that you use in your drawing in order to make it have meaning for you. We've talked on the carpet a couple of times about the different color schemes you might use. You might decide on monochromatic or analogous or a complementary color scheme. And when you do that, you change the look of your drawing. If you choose monochromatic, remember you're going to have just one color. And to that color, you can change its value by adding blacks and whites to it. And that works with drawing just as easily as it does with painting. If I were going to work with just one color, like blue, I could also change the amount of pressure that I use on my crayon. I can color very lightly and get a pretty light blue. I can other also color by pushing a little harder and get a darker blue. And then I can use all the muscle I've got and get a really dark blue. But what you might not realize is that on top of that, you could blend some black. Uh, let's see if I can find a good black in here. Here's a tiny one. On top of that blue, if I were to also add some pressure with black, it makes that blue appear to be even darker. And so now I've got light blue, medium blue, dark blue, and then really dark blue. And with that I can do some pretty cool effects. Look at these drawings. I'll show you a couple of pictures I found on the internet of people who use just one color and different values. What'd you think? Pretty cool? Um, I think so. But if you don't want to do just one color, perhaps you're thinking of an analogous color scheme, which you know are colors that are next to each other on the wheel, and they add a little more interest to your drawing, a little more excitement, because there is more than one color. And the colors still go well together, so there's a certain unity to the drawing. There's a, a harmony or a good feeling about what's there. A lot of times I use the example of an underwater picture, like all blues and greens and purples that are right next to each other on the color wheel, but they make for a very cool, watery effect if you were trying to draw under the sea. Um, you're going to have colored pencils and markers and crayons to choose from, and any one of those would allow you to create an analogous color scheme. Like if I were to pick these colors, ooh, that's a good one in between those two, I think. Those colors would be right next to each other on the wheel and would be a great fiery warm composition because they go well together. They seem to fit together. As soon as I add another color though, like this one, you can see how it stands out. Hopefully you're noticing that that blue is the opposite color of the two oranges on either side of it, which takes us into a complementary color scheme. That's where you get the most excitement in the way you use color in a work of art. The greatest emphasis, that blue really stands out against these other two warmer colors because blue is the opposite of orange. Let me show you a few more pictures that will be analogous and then a couple that are complementary and see what you think of those drawings. Okay, so now you've seen how some other artists have used color for a purpose. They've tried to communicate a feeling or a mood or a, an idea through the colors that they've chosen. The colors aren't necessarily real looking but color was used for a purpose. Again, you've got crayons to work with, colored pencils to work with, a few brand new sets of markers are in the drawing studio. You're welcome to choose those. As you're working, if you have questions, be sure to put your name on the poll, and I can come over and visit as soon as possible. Um, other than that, use your green card, get set up, and get underway. Oh, I just remembered something. Something different I want you to do today that we haven't done before is get out your idea book right now. I'll wait for a second while you open it up to the page where your goal is that we talked about on the carpet. Okay, good. So you got that page and you got your pencil. Before you even start your drawing today, 
I'd like you to give some thought to what's your drawing going to be about. Is it going to be an animal, a person, piece of fruit? Is it going to be just a, an interesting arrangement of shapes, like a design or an abstract kind of piece of art? And then pick your color scheme. Write down either monochromatic, analogous, or complementary, and then you'll have a plan. It'll help you remember to stick with those colors so that your color scheme is effective, so that you are really using color for a purpose. All right, now you've got the plan, you've got your materials. I don't think there's anything else I can tell you. Get started. Remember the red cards are there if you don't know how to clean up at the end. Um, and when those crickets go off, you know what to do. Good luck.